Hey YouTube, Shuki here with the review of the Power Rangers movie Power Morpher with Power Coins. Power, power, power. But, uh, so yeah, this is the main normal, like, deluxe class uh, Power Morpher toy for the movie. Hopefully we get a cool looking legacy one down the line, but uh, that I feel is still a little bit ways off. Maybe Tom's... So Sometimes, sometime next year. But you can see the five power coins right here looking like they're little cookies that they are. And the power morpher right here does have this kind of rev up sort of functioning mechanic thingy right there. If we pull the tab, we can preview some noises. All right, getting gear. And on the back here, it just has a little bit better shot of those power coins. And the morpher itself, morphin grid, lights and sounds, and slide lever to activate. So pretty simple. I picked this up for $29.99 at my local Toys R Us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open. And take All right, so here is the power morpher and the power coins. And this is a pretty all right toy. Uh, it's it's kind of, it falls in this really strange, strange gray area for me. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that uh, momentarily. But here is the actual power morpher and... Uh, say what you will about the design. I like it quite a bit. Everything in this movie's like design and like the lore and everything stems from alien technology. So to have this very alien-esque looking version of the Power Morpher, I think is absolutely fitting given the origin of these powers. They come from alien races and it just... It works for me. It is very plain. I will definitely say that. It is very, very plain. All we got here is glittery, kind of slate, gunmetal-esque color blast plastic? Plastic. And some black plastic uh, inside here that has a really cool, kind of like the texture of like suits and stuff like that. It's a nice kind of graded uh, sort of look to the plastic. So, in my humble opinion, it looks kind of neat. I love the glittery effect on the plastic. It looks really cool. It looks very spacey, and I dig that uh, quite a bit. But yeah, it is pretty plain. It does have a belt buckle attached um, always. You can't take it off or anything like that, as far as I know. So kind of keep that in mind, but you can go ahead and attach it to your belt buckle speakers right here. Batteries, it looks like two AAAs. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they come pre-installed. And the little try me tab is right here. But on and off switch is right here. So we'll go ahead and turn it on momentarily. I'm going to look at the power coins first because these are actually the coolest part of the toy in my opinion. So here is the red power coin. And thanks to my lights, as long as they don't get all reflective on me, uh, you can see the Tyrannosaurus in there very, very well. Uh, it, it's weird. It kind of looks like weird Godzilla to me instead of a Tyrannosaurus. But it has its mouth open. And stuff like that so it's kind of I don't know it just it just reminds me of Godzilla uh, quite a bit but the details are actually pretty nicely done in here if we kind of zoom in and take a look at that uh, if you flip it over on the other side obviously a lot of those details get washed away but if you actually have it the way that it's supposed to be you can see a lot of line work and details uh, in the skin of the Tyrannosaurus and stuff uh, through the power coin which is really Really nice. So there is the Tyrannosaurus. Here is probably the weakest of the bunch. The Sabertooth Tiger. Or just the Sabertooth. Uh, it's very hard to see in that yellow. There's not a whole lot of details that uh, pop up through there. And as you can see, that is the right side. Because you basically lose it uh, on that side. But it's there, I promise. You can kind of see the outline of it right there. But yellow is definitely the weakest uh, of the coins in terms of being able to see what's actually in there. Here is the Triceratops. Again, very cool. Uh, as you can see, as I'm moving these power coins around, there's a lot of like cybernetic details going on throughout the coin right here that look very, very cool once you have them in hand. They look really neat. I, I definitely love these power coins a ton. I love the fact that they're colored. The cybernetic design looks really cool. Uh, so they're really neat to me. Here is the Mastodon, albeit upside down. There we go. I like his picture a lot because it looks like a 3D picture. Like, just the way that the details come forth in the power coin, it looks like one of those little 3D hologram pictures. And I think that is really, really cool. So there is the Mastodon, and finally we have the Pterodactyl right there, which is also a really cool and very, very visible one. 
So pretty neat. Like I said, I love these a lot. And I think the power coins are probably the coolest part of the actual Morpher toy in general. So if we turn this on, we get that design right there. There are, I think, four LEDs inside here. There's like one here, one here, one here, and one here. And basically the entire, if I'm going to snap it off real quick, the entire mechanism in here spins. So the point of the four LEDs is that when it spins, it makes a bunch of rings. And it actually does look pretty cool. Problem being, as you can kind of see just by looking at it, the spin don't last very long. Uh, the morph does last very long. So it ends up looking kind of crappy <laughs> when everything is said and done. But, uh... See, you got that going on. Uh, it is what it is there. But, of course, there is more functionality. I don't know what kind of noise that in general is, but... I don't know, it's as noise you can do. So if you go ahead and do that. We'll get a standby standboy standby noise. Right there. Again, very alien. I like it a lot. Put in the power coin, it'll have a little registration noise. It'll go back to the weird transformer sound. And then if we go ahead and do that. Riveting, right? But no need to fear that wasn't the morph at all. <laughs> uh, the morph is actually when you do it twice. I don't know why exactly that is how it is. It might be because of something that is in the movie, but that is just with one pull. If you go ahead and do it twice, nothing happens apparently. Let's try that again. That is the morph. And it again, it's a very generic sound. And I think that's the biggest gripe of the toy, in my humble opinion, is just because those are the only real functions. I mean, if you do it three times, nothing happens there. Four times. You'll get the morph again, uh, but nothing is really different. Like I said, if you do it once, you just get that little generic uh, thing. Now, you can pop out the coins. That's what that little groove is for. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. And you can put in any of the coins that you want. I'm not going to go ahead and do it for every single one, just because nothing different happens uh, at all. And that LED is always yellow, so it's always just going to be a yellow LED that shines through these coins. Uh, so that is a little bit of a bummer as well. So that's about it for this thing, and it's honestly quite a shame. The functions are just incredibly limited. There's the standby noise, the first transformation little lever noise, and then the actual morph by pulling the lever twice and that's it i mean we're living in a day and age where we're used to a lot of sounds and morphers we're used to a lot of gimmicks being read and a lot of different noises and phrases and even those that aren't all that functional usually have a bigger sound database of phrases or sounds than just like three to four however you want to actually portray this as but I love the power coins. I love the power coins a lot. I think they're nice little plastic representations of the power coins in the movie. Now, granted, they're not going to look as nice as prop makers or renditions or anything like that, but I think as a little bonus that comes in a $30 Morpher toy, I think they look absolutely great on display, especially if you can get a light to shine through them to show off the detail that are actually inside of these power coins. They look great, and I like them a lot. The Morpher, like I said, I dig the design. The toy is just incredibly limited. I would have much rather had a strong LED in the back of the toy that shined through to show what was in the power coin instead of this little spinny gimmick that really doesn't do anything to present how cool the power coins actually are. And I think that's the biggest letdown I have of this. I think the presentation could have been a lot better. Plus, 
not having that little spin gimmick could have got rid of the little lever thing, uh, which I find a little bit gaudy in the actual presentation of the toy. But it's an all right toy. Like I said, the power coins are really cool, but I'm really looking forward to see if we get a legacy version of this that can kind of get rid of certain elements and really make those power coins pop because, like I said, I really like them a lot. But uh, enough rambling and enough bashing I guess of the toy if that's what you want to say that I was doing I'm not really sure but it's all right I'll just end it at it's all right I'm saved by the bell so that about does it for this review let me know what you think of this in the comments down below and what you think of these power coins and which image of the power coins is actually your favorite kind of curious to know but please like comment subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a cool review like this one and as always thanks for watching take care and have a great one bye